Week 14 of the fantasy basketball season, and here's a few forwards I look to sell and trade this week. The first forward, Kevin Durant of the Phoenix Suns. So Kevin Durant, it's been a great year for him, no doubt about it. We know he's one of the best scorers of the basketball in the last decade on the year. 29.6 points a game, 6.3 rebounds, 5.6 assists, 1.2 blocks, 2.4 threes a game, and 53% from the field. So Durant, he's played a lot of games this season, barely missing any. And maybe with the new rule, he's going to be more healthier and strive to be an MVP once again in this league and try to win a championship. But Kevin Durant, you know, around this time every year, February, March, he gets banged up and he gets hurt. But right now, he's been on a tear over the last few games. January 19th at the Pelicans, 26 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 steals, 2 blocks, 3 threes, 57% from the field. January 21st, first of pace is 40 points, 9 rebounds, 2 assists, 3 blocks, 4 threes, 72% from the field. And January 22nd, first of Bulls, 43 points, 6 rebounds, 8 assists, a steal, 2 blocks, 6 threes, 50% from the field, including a game winner in that ball game. So right now, Kevin Durant playing great basketball. He's looked healthy. And this is a perfect time, in my opinion, especially if you're down in the standings and you want to move up where you could trade Kevin Durant for two solid ball players on your fantasy team. So right now, he's scoring at a great clip, he's hitting big shots, and like I said, he's barely missed any games for the most part this season, Kevin Durant. Only seven, eight games he's missed this year. So right now, while he's playing great basketball and looks healthy, this is a perfect time to sell him because, like I said, we've rarely seen Durant over the last four or five years play 50-plus games in a season. The next sell is possible Siakam. Of the Indiana Pacers, as Yakum obviously he got traded last week to this Pacer team and a team he wanted to go to on the year 22 points a game, 6.2 rebounds, 4.9 assists, 1.2 threes, and 52% from the field since he started with the Pacers. January 19th at the Trail Blazers, 21 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists, a steal with 364% from the field. And January 21st at the Suns, 15 points, 4 rebounds, 7 assists, a 3. 42% from the field. So right now, Pascal Siakam's the second option, obviously behind Tyrese Halliburton over there for this Indiana Pacers team, where with Toronto the last couple years, he pretty much was the one or the 1A option. Him and Fred Van Fleet the last couple years, and then this season, he was easily the number one option over Scotty Barnes with Siakam. Also, OG Abinobi when he was there as well. So right now, like I said, his points per game are going to drop off a little bit. But I think the assists... And the rebounding will still be pretty decent here for Pascal Siakam. And he still has to get acclimated to this Indiana Pacers system. But right now, like I said, he's going to be the second option on this team. Points per game are going to drop. And if you want to sell him off, like I said, because the points are dropping. Even from last season to this year, he's a sell high forward this week. And the third and final forward, I look to sell in trades. Paul George to the Los Angeles Clippers. So Paul George is just like Kevin Durant. He's another player that it seems like he don't finish a full season yearly and he's only playing about 45 50 games a year on the season 23.6 points a game 5.6 rebounds 3.6 assists 1.6 steals 3.6 threes and 46 percent from the field but the last couple weeks the numbers have bumped up 26.4 points a game 5.6 rebounds 3.2 assists 1.6 steals 4.8 threes and 49 percent from the field so right now poor paul george he's on a hot streak and he's had some big ball games, no doubt about it, he's PG-13. But when you got guys like James Harden, Kawhi Leonard, Russell Westbrook, and even Norman Powell could score the basketball off the bench here, there's going to be games like we've seen at times this year where he's only scoring 10, 15 points in those games. January 14th at Minnesota, 16 points, it's four rebounds, three assists, four threes, 26%. From the field january 16th versus the thunder 38 points seven rebounds five assists three steals six threes 62 percent from the field then january 21st versus and that's 12 points seven rebounds and assists to steal two threes 29 percent from the field so like i said ball george is going to be big games and then games where he's not doing much so right now while well, he's coming off a 38 point game and he's healthy and like i said averaging 26.4 points a game the last two weeks He's a perfect sell high candidate because with injury and with all the good players on that roster, I think the numbers are going to fluctuate and not be consistent week in and week out. So that's a few forwards I look to sell and trade here for week 14 of the fantasy basketball season.